Hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. Topic of this video is men need to be aggressive with women. But before I get into the topic, I just wanna let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they could be in all aspects of their lives, dating, health, wealth, relationships, and of course, mindsets, all that good stuff. So welcome to the channel. Those of you who are new, those of you who are returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate y'all being here, of course. Um, like the video, share the video, so we can get this out to more people who need this, so we can make this world a better place for not only us, but our future generations, of course. If you have not already, subscribe, hit that notification button, so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. So let's get into this topic. Men need to be more aggressive with women. It is very, very important with the rise of weak men and quote unquote strong women who are actually weak women. You know, men not being leaders and allowing women to lead over them is part of the destruction of the marriage here in America and in the West period. You know, so um, men uh, need to be more aggressive. They need to be more of the leaders so we can eventually be able to get the, the marriage structure back on track, all right? And of course, I'm going to give you four reasons men should be the, the, the leaders and be more aggressive with women. And of course, the bonus at the end and really go into not only just uh, the four reasons, but what that means for men to be aggressive with women, you know, um, and also the bonus at the end. So definitely stay to the end. So you get that bonus. It's going to really put everything together. All right. It's going to really make everything make sense and um, help you be uh, better with your women out here. All right. So first and foremost, your aggression will make her submissive. And there's a caveat. If she likes you and if she has that submission or is willing to be submissive to you. All right. So, yes, of course, not all women are going to be submissive. Not all women are going to uh, respond positively to your aggression. So you definitely want to at least put it out there and see how they respond. If they respond good, you know, you got something good on your hands. And if you, you know, they respond bad, you know, you got something bad on your hands and you got to let them go. All right. So for women who like you, women who will respond positively to your aggression, you will make them submissive or they will be submissive. They will choose to submit to you. All right. That is the first thing when it comes to the aggression. Second, being aggressive with women doesn't mean being mean or controlling. It does not mean that. It is just all about being more uh, direct, leading the, 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 um, interaction where you wanted to go that's pretty much it just leading the interaction where you wanted to go you know what i mean but being direct about it you know so ultimately if a woman doesn't want to go along with it she has every right to not go along with it and you have every right to let her go all right she you're not going to force her you're not going to be mean you're going to talk bad you're not going to you know try to control her it is leading the horse to water but if they don't want to drink it cool you let them go find other women who will all right that's the second tip there number three number three and this is very important you have to know what you want with women and go for it that is part of the aggression when you know what you want, now it's all about finding women who will do what you want. And again, we're not controlling, we're not being mean, we're not attempting to force. We are positively um, enforcing our will. But they always have the right to refuse. They always, women always have the right to refuse. They could not deal with you. They might not like you, whatever it is. 
they have the right to refuse, but you're going to positively enforce your will by leading the interaction where you want it to go, whatever that direction may be. All right? And that's just it. You lead the interaction, but you first have to know what you want. Knowing is half the battle. Then you go find women who you like, and then you lead the interaction in the direction you want it to go. And if they go willingly, cool. If they don't, cool. You let them go. All right. So thank y'all for being in this, uh, being in the video for this long and making it this far. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, definitely, if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, let's share this video, get it out to more people who could use this video so we can make this um, this world a better place for not only you and me, but our future generations. All right. And of course, like uh, the video. Uh, that is great for the algorithm and uh, great for confidence. You know what I mean? Let me know you like this video. But yes, let us get into the fourth and final tip here. Tip, reason, thing, whatever you want to call it. So, if a woman matches your aggression, if a woman matches your aggression, let her go. Like, if you try, you want to do something, you want to lead the direction, the interaction into a direction, and she wants to lead it over here, and you might say, try to say, oh, well, I don't like doing that. You gotta let her know you're not down for that, and she continues to do it, let her go. Because if she's giving you trouble off the jump, it will only get worse later on. And even if you end up getting her later on, you're going to have to jump through hoops. You're going to have to do all these little tricks and tips. And, you know, you're going to have to really play the game. You know what I mean? And in a negative way where you're actually being more manipulative than actually being who you are. You know? Because you're all you're, you're going to be, goal, your goal is going to be. <laughs> Shit. Apologize, a little bug on me. <laughs> I apologize, and I didn't know what kind of bug that was. It came literally out the blue, so yeah, my bad. But um, I see, I see. But uh, yeah, you definitely want to be able to um lead the direction, and you want her to follow. If she doesn't want to follow, or she tries to go her own way, cool, let her go. Figuratively and literally. Let her go her own way. <laughs> Alright, don't follow her way. Because she will never respect you. Alright. So. <clears throat> that is what it is. That is what it is. You know. So at the end of the day. You definitely want to be able to. Get them. You want to first be aggression, aggressive with them. Because that will make them submissive. And then, of course, you want to be able to um, let them know that <laughs> of what you, uh, hold on, uh oh, my foot. Yeah, I got to fix up my car a little bit. But yes, being aggressive will make them be submissive. You know, it doesn't mean being mean or controlling. Of course, knowing what you want is very important. And then outside of that, <clears throat> if a woman is matching your aggression definitely let her go it's going to be the best for you and for her and then obviously the bonus here very very important bonus there's nothing wrong with being aggressive with women there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with being aggressive with women that is how most men were back in the day it was more of a controlled aggression. You know what I mean? Even if you go back to the caveman, they probably knocked the woman over the head and took her back to the cave. You know what I mean? But we ain't talking about that. You know, you can't do that nowadays. You know what I mean? You have to have more skill, more talent, more of a, um, you know, a, uh, a smoothness to you in order to be able to get the woman who you want. You know, so that is what's very important. Being able to get women who are following your lead and you know women want that that kind of aggressive man they call it toxic masculine masculinity nowadays but women want that because if you see the men that women run over 
where the women are more aggressive, they don't respect that man. They don't respect that man. They may enjoy him for a little bit, but long term, they lose respect for him. You know, because women don't want to be with a man who they feel like they can dominate or who they feel like they're better than. You know, so that is very important. That is very important. All right. So that is all I got for y'all today in this video. Let me know if you like the, the list. If you don't like the list. Let me know if you think, you know, everything's spot on. Or if you think I missed anything, let me know in the comments respectfully. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. And share the video so we can get this video out to more people who could use it. So we can make this world a better place for you and for me and our future generations. All right. Um, outside of that, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. So though I make this channel, this channel was made for you. All right. So what do you want to talk about? Let me know so I can get the video out for y'all. Of course, donations are always welcome. Donations are always welcome. They help me stay motivated. They're going to help me bring uh, higher quality videos. And of course, um, if you only, if you want to, if you feel the value of the video was worth it, give me a donation. You know, they help keep me going though. They do help keep me going, help stay, keep me motivated and bring in high quality videos. So donations are very important. But yes, outside of that, I thank y'all for being here. I hope to see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe and always remember the strongest person is the happiest person.